We're going to install the release management tools on my server Baltar here. Um, I'm going to start with the server, then do the client, and then install the deployment agent and set that up. Um, so let's get going with the server. It is a fairly straightforward um, install process. It's a very small install. So let me just get that going. Awesome, completed really quickly. So we wanna launch that and configure it. So let's do that. Now we have the configuration tool up and um, we can um, I have very few settings to fill out. I'm going to use network service. Um, I, I prefer having everything the default and everything's on one server in this environment. Um, so that should be no bother. Um, the web service port I'm going to leave as the default, which is a thousand. Um, then everybody knows where it is. And I need to put the DB server in. And as it's just the local server, I can just put in the server name and click uh, go. Here we go. So now we have a, a release management server all set up and configured. It was very straightforward. We're going to install the client. Um, so let me just run this client installer. Again, it's a very small install. We're doing it all in the one server. So there's probably some of the bits that are already on there. Here we go, release management clients installed. I'm going to spin that up and just do a, a couple of configuration steps. Here we go. And as uh, this is the local uh, machine, we can just leave that at local host. We could change the server name and I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, now we have the release management client installed. I'm just going to pop over to administration. Um, I'm going to go to um, the manage TFS. I'm going to add the TFS server or local TFS server. So, oh, I forgot the B. And our default collection is default collection. Um, let me verify that. And it, it, that will fail. And we need to put in a, an account that's going to be used to access this. So in this case, I can actually pick our TFS service account. Always make sure you got the password right. Okay, so we put in our TFS service account and we hit the verify. So the error message, access denied, um, TFS service needs the following permission, make requests on behalf of others, needs to actually be uh, applied at the collection level only. So let me open up uh, TFS. And to make things uh, uh, a little bit more manageable, at the TFS level, I'm going to create a new group called Release Management Service Accounts. And then I'm going to go to the collection level and I'm going to administer security and I'm going to add uh, that security group that I just created. So release management service accounts. And I'm going to give it just the permission to make requests on behalf of others. Now you can apply this at the server level, uh, but that's not recommended as it gives uh, uh, somebody too much power at the server level. And um, if you make it just at the collection level, there we go. And then go to our um, group, group membership our release management service accounts group, and we can add in whatever accounts we need um, at this level. So I'm just going to add in TF service. And now if we head on over to release management and hit the verify button, we get our green tick and all is good.
so now I've added the, the collection in, um, I can have uh, multiple users access this and I'm just going to add a group of users because the only person that can access it right now is me. I've got demo users, add that in and now if I go to manage users I have a bunch of users that have been given permission. Awesome. Now we've got the client installed, um, we can go over and install the rest of the services. So we're now going to install the um, deployment agent. So if I just run the deployment agent here, again, it's a very small install, shouldn't take long. And there we go, and we'll launch the configuration tool. And in here, again, I'm going to pick network service because I like to keep things simple. And we have to type the URL of our release management server. And that should get us there. Awesome. We also have the release management agent configured. Now if I open up the client tool, if I open up the release management client tool and go to configure paths, I can go to servers, scan for new, find our agent, register that agent locally and that will take a little while to, to do the communication properly. Um, it will figure out that it's online in, in, a, in a few minutes. And there we go. We've installed and configured um, release management server, release management client, and an agent um, in our release management environment.